Hello and welcome to uh, this tutorial uh, covering advanced branching. We're going to have a series of uh, three videos covering advanced branching because it's uh, such a powerful and uh, involved and in-depth uh, tool. So this is the beginning of the first video and I've gone ahead and created a survey called advanced branching online which I'll go in and edit right now. Go to the uh, beginning of the wizard to the define questions module and here you'll see we have an eight question survey uh, at the beginning we have several demographic questions age gender ethnicity education uh, and then industry that you work within uh, a matrix uh, a question a ranking question an open-ended question um, and this is a fairly straightforward simple simple survey with multiple choice choose all of the apply open-ended etc so looking at this you know let's let's figure out what kind of skip patterns and branching logic w might apply so let's say oh what question seven asks for comments so let's filter based on demographics as to who um, of the population we want to get feedback from and the first question was age so why don't we say we're looking for uh, people between 18 and 35 which would cover the first two responses of question one uh, question two gender let's say you know we're fine we, we don't care male or female doesn't really make a difference for us ethnicity we're not too interested in but definitely education let's say we want postgraduate uh, or some gra postgraduate education uh, as a requirement and then we're looking for someone in the software field so let's say we're really looking for a young uh, highly educated software developer and we want their feedback that's the conditions that we want to meet for this survey so what we'll do here is we'll add some advanced branching at the end of the demographic conditions which is ending at question five so we're gonna filter by age education and uh, um, industry so let's go here to the drop down adjacent question five and you'll see we now have defined advanced branching and as well as piping which we'll go into in another uh, tutorial but we'll select advanced branching click go and then the wizard will ask us to add a branching rule so we're going to add a rule which will have uh, conditions that need to be met for the branching logic to to progress so let's go ahead and select those three qualifying questions the first was age so we'll select question one um, has a response now we have several different um, approaches here available to us we can say uh, they've they the respondent has selected a response to this question any response or has not selected a response they skipped this question we want to filter based on an exact response we would go here or any response or we could go negative is not any of the above so let's go ahead since we're going to select two the the uh, first two age ranges we're going to go is one of and now we can select our options so we're gonna select uh, 18 to 20 or 21 to 35 so anyone under 35 years or 18 to 35 years of age we're interested in um, so that's our first condition now let's add another rule a, a sub rule if you will um, and you'll notice you have an and here this could be or but we're gonna go ahead with and logic um, and we can go into that in more detail later so now we're going to go to we weren't interested in gender or ethnicity but we were interested in education levels so again we wanted more than one so we'll go is one of and we will select some postgrad or postgrad so they have to either be in graduate school or uh, completed their graduate education and you'll notice we have selected two options as filter conditions in the question one and as well two in question four 
Now we had one more sub rule we wanted to include, which was the industry. And let's go down to industry. And this we can go exact because we know we only want those who are within the software development industry. And we'll select that. So now we have our three rules, each with their defined uh, conditions. Some of these icons to the right are self-explanatory. You can delete any of these rules or actually drill down for further levels and tiers of branching, which we'll go into in some of the more advanced tutorials. So now we have these, uh, this rule condition set. Now we have to set our actions. So we can either skip to the end of the survey or skip to another question in the survey. And you'll notice we can go backwards in our filtering or skip patterns now, whereas in simple branching logic, you could only progress downward in the survey. So question five is where we have our advanced branching. You'll notice that's absent from this dropdown because that's the question we're working within. So for those people, that segment of the population that meets those three uh, rules and conditions, where do we want to direct them? Well, we we wanted to get their feedback and only their feedback. So we'll select question seven and save that rule. And now you'll see above here, this is a summary of the rules and conditions that we have set for, for this uh, uh, branching uh, uh, rule. Uh, which age range, what is the level of education, uh, and in what industry do you work, software development. And those are three predicates that then we'll skip to question seven. Fine. So now we it's asking us if no other branching conditions apply, where do you want to go? So for the, the segment of the population that did not match those three conditions or rules, where do they go? And let's go ahead and say we'll skip question seven because we only want feedback from the people who match our filtered uh, those three conditions for everyone else let's go and jump to question eight and I'll save this change and you'll notice this symbol that now is adjacent question five which is a symbol indicating there is advanced branching logic for question five uh, simple branching logic uh, piping, those each have their own symbols as well that will appear adjacent the question in, uh, in this module. So why don't we go ahead and down and uh, preview what we've just done. And I'm going to preview the survey. And by the way, this is an online survey we created. Um, our branching logic and advanced, all of our features also apply to our other survey modalities such as tablets, you know, offline tablets, offline mobile phones. We support Android, Apple iOS, Windows, fully cross-platform capable. Uh, but we just happen to be working in an online survey here. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, 18 to 20, which is in our parameters. I'll say I'm male. Let's say I'm Asian. Uh, education, we wanted some post-grad or grad, and we wanted software development. So I'm going to click Next, and I should see, and I do, question 7, which is the open-ended comment. Um, and I'll just go ahead and complete this survey. And so that seemed to work. Why don't we uh, preview again, but select one uh, option that is different, that's outside of our uh, uh, parameters. So let's say I'm 36 to 50. I'm male. I'm only going to change one thing, and that was the age question. I'm Asian. Uh, I have some post-grad, and I am within the software development field. And I'm going to click Next, and I should not see, which I don't that number seven which is the feedback question so it seems to be working fine and that is a quick summary of the new and powerful advanced branching feature within the survey manager um, you know we will be updating our video tutorials with uh, subsequent more advanced uh, uh, videos covering uh, advanced branching and piping coming up shortly thank you for your time